Good morning, and we're so happy to have you here with us. This morning, I am joined once again by Julie Bernard. Good morning, Julie, and thanks for being back with Good us. Good morning, it's great to be back. Last week, we heard a story called Paying Taxes. And in that story, we learned that there are some things that belong to people, to the leaders, but we also learned that all of creation belongs to God. That was such a great lesson, and it makes me so excited to get started with this week's lesson. Today we're learning about the greatest commandment. As we know, God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. These are his rules and laws for us to follow, but there's one that is considered the most important. And this morning we're going to hear the story about the great, greatest commandment. I'm wondering how many of you would know what that is before I even read it. I wonder. <laughs> so the greatest commandment. The Pharisees were a group of people who had let who had lots and lots of laws. Altogether, they had more than 600. Whew, that's a lot of rules to follow. One day, one of the Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, what is the greatest law? He didn't think that Jesus could possibly pick just one law out of so many. He was trying to trick Jesus. But Jesus knew that the man was trying to trick him, and he looked at the man and smiled and said, Love, love God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Jesus said, this is the greatest of all the commandments. But there's a really another really important one too. Love the neighbor, love your neighbor as yourself. If you obey these two laws, then you obey all of the law. The Pharisees' jaws dropped to the floor. They were shocked to know just how smart Jesus was. They were surprised that Jesus had answered their question and turned their trick around on them. They didn't know what to say. Then Jesus had a question for them. What do you think about the Messiah? Whose son is he? That was an easy question for the Pharisees. They grew up learning in school that the Messiah came from the family of David, so that's what they told Jesus. Then why do all the people from the family of David praise David as the Messiah? Jesus asked. Now that was a hard question. The Pharisees didn't have an answer, and they backed away because they hadn't tricked Jesus again. I cannot believe the Pharisees had six hundred rules to follow. How would they be able to remember all of them? I know I couldn't. <laughs> Lucky for us though, Jesus only gave us 10. And over the last few weeks, as we've been reading these stories, we have seen people trying to trick him by asking very tricky questions. But it's always fun to see how Jesus never falls for it. Today he was asked, what is the greatest law? And he responded with love the Love God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. That is the greatest commandment. And he also said, love your neighbor as yourself. He is telling us to love God and to love one another. Which brings us to our activity time. If you look at your sheets um, under the Live It section on the family page that uh, Jenna had prepared for all of you, um, this is a project where you can work together as a family to make a poster that will remind you of this story. Um, you can write the commandment in the middle and then decorate it however you want, or you can write sayings that remind you of how your family right. actually follows or shows um, love and such with this great commandment. This is one that we made ahead of time. Julie, in her artistic ability, made this one for you. And I think she might have had maybe some grandkids help? Yes, well actually my daughter, she's the talented one. She's the talented one. <laughs> we would love for you guys to, sh to share this on our Friends of Birth Facebook page. And we always love to see your guys' creations, so please consider sharing it. And thanks for joining us. And let us end our time together with something a little bit different. It's an action prayer. So we're gonna go ahead and say it once through. I'm gonna say the words and Julie does the actions, is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. And we'll do this twice. So the first time, just kind of follow along and just watch us. And the second time, join us. So I'll say the words. Okay. All right. Dear God, I can love you with my heart. I can love you with my strength. I can love you with my brain. I can love others too. Okay. So please do it along with us. Dear God, I can love you with my heart. I can love you with my strength. I can love you with my brain and I can love others too.
Amen. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you guys next week.